We want to check back in with Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb with your weather impact forecast. Chris, what are you seeing tonight as you track the tropics? We are, we now have a new tropical storm named Jerry. This was upgraded earlier today, uh, officially a tropical storm with winds that are getting a little bit stronger and the system's getting more organized. The latest advisory that came in at five o'clock shows this actually becoming a category two hurricane. So let me show you where it is that we're watching right now. You can see kind of on the wider range Atlanta at the top of your screen. This storm is way down here in the central Atlantic as a tropical storm right now. Those max winds are at 50 miles an hour, moving quickly to the west at 23 miles an hour. So no threat to land right now. However, we have to watch this track as it gets closer to the northern Leeward Islands here going into the end of the week. We do have a couple of tropical storm watches in effect for some of the islands there. Uh, St. Martin and Anguillo have a couple of those uh, uh, tropical storm watches in effect. They could be upgraded to hurricane watches as well because that uh, that system is going to be coming closer there as a cat one and then as it starts to curve away potentially becoming a category two hurricane but again we think it'll stay well away from the Bahamas and the Atlantic coastline and hopefully staying away from Bermuda too they just got hit hard by the last hurricane that came through spaghetti models also show that curve away so we're feeling pretty confident about that they've been pretty consistent about it there's another system that we're watching here in the southern Gulf at the Bay of Campeche it is crossing over the Yucatan right now about to move back out over water, but even then the chances for development very low at only about 10%. Stay with us. We'll keep watching these systems and any other systems that could develop here as we're not finished with hurricane season quite yet.